Hey everybody, Bud Brown here, of course. Stop saying that. <laughs> Your channel's name is Bud Brown. What do they expect? I want to have a little heart-to-heart -heart talk with my viewers and followers. I'm going to take a walk here and talk, but also I'll be putting, as is my custom, be putting in little clips of the what I'm doing. But anyway, I wanted to let you know that uh, I know a lot of you originally came to my channel because I was living in the Philippines and you wanted to know what was life like in the Philippines and follow Bud Brown and where is he going during the day. And, and I understand that many are just curious about the Philippines and many are planning to come to the Philippines. And actually, some have told me, now I don't want to, uh, to offend you, but before I came to the Philippines, I watched your videos, but now that I'm here, <laughs> I don't watch them. I say, that's not, that didn't offend me. You know, that's the thing. You have your own adventures in the Philippines, and even your life has its own adventures. But uh, the reason I'm uh, giving this video is because I understand if you uh, came here, uh, came to my channel just to, Oh, there goes a rabbit. Oh, little cottontail rabbits running around. Um, uh, to see what was life like in the Philippines, then uh, that chapter in my life <laughs> is over, and I'm starting a new chapter. I originally uh, thought that I was going to uh, live in Mexico, and uh, this is kind of a plan 1A that I'm going to tell you. I didn't think that we were going to enjoy it so much here with our children. I really didn't. If you followed me, I, I think I've said something like, I don't know, two women in a kitchen. You know, that may not be uh, tenable. But uh, Glory and I, and I confess, surprisingly, are having the greatest time in our life. Oh, man, I can't believe it. Our kids, they're just, I mean, I knew they were good kids, but gee whiz, I didn't know they were super kids. And my son, he, he's a handyman. Anything that needs to go wrong, he fixes it. He's building fences. He, he built uh, stairs for our uh trailer so it's easy for his mom to get in and out got little lights there solar lights put non-skid tape on <laughs> and he's building they're building her a, a sewing room i don't want to say shed i think it started off as a shed but they're building a place where glory be comfortable this is gloria's uh future sewing room Okay. Got a bathroom already. I mean, yeah, got a bathroom already. And put insulation and uh, got the air conditioner right there, heater. And just putting a new toilet in, new sink. Oh yeah, I'm going to have Mama all set up. Hope you come along and you can see the finished product. Bought Gloria a new sewing machine. She was so sad to leave her at Big Industrial Singer behind. But uh, got a new, new industrial sewing machine and another one. And, oh my gosh. They're just taking care of her so much, and me too. I mean, oh, it's unbelievable. So I said all that to say, uh, 
we're going to uh, use this place, we, Gloria, this is probably it for her, but I'm going to use it as a, as a, uh, what do you call it, a home base. And I still, you know, you are what you are, and I am who I am. I love to travel, and you know me if you've been around very long. I love to travel, I love to meet people, uh, I love to uh, learn languages, and I'm, I'm still going to do that. I'm going to sit here in this chair way out in the... Look what I came upon. Oh. So I'm going to sit here for a little bit and chat. But uh, I think the guiding principle for me is to always be curious, always uh, be open to learning new things. Uh, adjust this a little bit. <laughs> Push the wrong button. I'm talking about trying to learn new things, <laughs> trying to learn about this stabilizer that the camera's on so always be open to learning new things you know especially we older fellas we've got a lot of years under our belt you know it 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 seems that uh we want to just stick in our ways and sometimes that's good and sometimes it's not so good um, i came home yesterday andrew had this so-called uh juicer it was a juicer, not so called. But the reason that it was fascinating, I mean, I I was into the blender uh, mode at one time, but I uh, I came to the conclusion it was just too much to clean up. It wasn't worth it. But this new thing that Andrew got, oh man, I'll play that video for you right now. Mm. What's the verdict? Delicious. <laughs> now the most important thing. Just how easy is it to clean up? Yep.
You see what I mean? Awesome, awesome. So now I'm getting back into the juicing mode. Go home. You know, so to wrap things up, I just wanted to say in this video, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to be curious about so many things, and we're going to have a lot of adventures together. I wish you well. I wish you the best, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.